Launchbox is a great front end for your retro gaming, but did you know that you can carry around your whole installation on a USB drive? Let me show you how. Hi and welcome to Bytes and Bits. Launchbox is a great front end for your retro gaming collection. With its automated MAME and RetroArch installation wizards, you can have your system up and running in no time without having to mess around with emulator setups and so on. But even better than that, you can make your Launchbox installation portable so you can carry your game collection with you and just pop it into any other PC. So let me show you how to set this up and create a retro gaming system on a USB stick. Now I'm not going to go through the Launchbox installation in this video, so please do have a look at my other installation videos for full instructions, and I'll put links to those down in the description. Now if you are installing from scratch, the only comment I'd make is to set the Launchbox installation folder to the root directory of one of your hard drives. Now this isn't essential, it just makes it a bit easier to copy things around later. If you've used the automated MAME and RetroArch installation wizards, they'll have installed the emulators into the emulators folder inside this Launchbox directory. If you've manually installed any emulators, you'll need to check that they too are installed in this Launchbox folder, preferably in that emulators folder as well. If they're not, I'm afraid you're going to have to reinstall and reconnect them within that Launchbox folder. Basically, we need to have everything inside subfolders of your Launchbox installation folder, and that way we can just keep everything together and Launchbox will, will know where to find things. So similarly, we need to have all of your game files transferred into the games folders. Now if you've been copying files into the relevant folders when importing into Launchbox, everything should be fine. The only issues you're going to have is if you've imported some games from external folders but left the files in their original um, locations. So once we make this system portable, um, Launchbox is going to lose connection with these games. Now if you're in this situation, um, the easiest way I find is to simply delete the games from your Launchbox games list and then re-import them, making sure that you tick the box for Launchbox to copy the original files into the Launchbox games folders. So once you're happy that everything, um, both these emulators and the games, are all stored inside your installation folder, you simply need to copy the whole folder to a USB stick. Um, and, and it really is that simple. Launchbox uses relative path names when running, so whenever you copy this folder, everything should just click into place. Now, of course, make sure that your USB stick is big enough, so, so check the size of your Launchbox folder in Windows Explorer to make sure that it's going to fit. And then once you start copying, just leave the computer running. Depending on your installation size, um, this could take quite some time. Now, if you can remember back to when you installed Launchbox, you'll know that it does rely on a few Microsoft code libraries. So when you take your game collection to a new PC, you'll need to make sure that it has these libraries installed as well. So the two that Launchbox relies on are the Visual C++ Redistributable and the .NET Core package. So um, I'll put these links on the screen, um, which are links to these packages, and I'll put those on the main project page in my Bytes and Bits website. So if you do need to install them, just visit that page on your new PC and just click on the links to go to the download sections. So quite often these bits of software will be already installed, but if you do plug in your USB stick and Launchbox fails to start, just run through these installations and it should all click together. To start Launchbox, you just need to navigate to the Launchbox folder on the USB stick. In there, you'll find the launchbox.exe file. Just double click this and the application will start. If you've added a license for Launchbox, you'll also be able to run Big Box, which is the full screen retro gaming center version. Now, running Launchbox from a USB drive won't really affect the performance of the actual gameplay, 
but you are going to notice the user interface taking a bit longer to update images and videos, and it will take a bit longer to start up the emulators to get your games going. Now most of the older system emulators will load the game code in one go, so you don't rely on subsequent disk access. But some of the CD based consoles may struggle a bit with video playback, and um, you'll just have to give it a go and see. And of course, all of this is really dependent on your USB drive speed and how fast your computer can pull data from that. So the USB version is exactly the same as any other version. So if you want to add new games and emulators or whatever else you want, you can do that. Just make sure to install everything inside that LaunchBox folder on the USB drive so it's all kept in the one place and will continue working. So, really that's all there is to making your launch box portable. You, cannot, you can use this method um, to transfer your whole system onto another PC. So once you've copied everything over to your USB stick, then just copy it from your USB stick onto the new PC and that should be everything installed. If you've got a large, fast, portable USB drive, another option is to actually make that your master copy of LaunchBox. Set everything up on that USB drive and keep that up to date. You can then take your collection to any other PC and either copy it over to create a new installation in one simple step or just play from your USB drive. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video and keep an eye out for all my latest releases on gaming, coding and making. Have fun playing your retro games in new and exciting locations, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now. For more games programming, electronics projects, and retro gaming, please make sure you like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my website.